Is Elon Musk's new suit a perfect red carpet look? Or do we have no idea what a space suit is? Find out more on today's... Let's <laughs> Now. I'm not. Elon Musk has been hinting for weeks that he would soon be unveiling a new project with such cryptic tweets as, quote, pics of SpaceX spacesuit developed for NASA commercial crew program coming out next week, undergoing ocean landing mobility safety tests, end quote, I said it. And honestly, like hearing that, we're just so flummoxed yeah. as to what that could mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. But now, our mucks must be flummed no more because Elon Musk hey. has officially unveiled the first images of the SpaceX spacesuit. Oh, look at it. Oh, look at now it. Now that's a handsome suit. Oh, and it looks hot. Look at those lines. Ooh, them curves. Non-Euclidean, baby. That, Actually, they're that, pretty that Euclidean. They're Euclidean. That helmet that transforms you into the cool member of Daft Punk. Not the one that has like the Knight Rider <laughs> face, but the one that has like a cool... We uh, all know which helmet you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. And Elon Musk showed the picture off on his Instagram saying, First picture, SpaceX spacesuit. More in days to follow. Worth noting, this actually works. Not a mock-up. Already tested to double vacuum pressure. And quote. He then went on to say in his normal humble Way, quote, was incredibly hard to balance aesthetics and function, easy to do easy separately. It kind of feels like he's throwing shade at someone with mm. that line, but I can't uh. imagine who because mm. how many people could possibly be in the designing functional spacesuit business? Maybe this person? Or <laughs> this person? Or these, these people! Haha, <laughs> shaded. Dweebs. <laughs> Next up, are you out of friends to give your lift code to so you can get free rides? Uh-huh. Well, does Elon Musk have a program for you? Yay! If you're a Tesla owner, nice, and five friends buy a Tesla using your special Tesla referral code, Ooh. you can unlock a secret reward level oh. from their referral system. And what is that sweet, sweet rewardy exactly? Frozen yogurt! No, it's Damn. the opportunity to drive one of the electric boring machines used by the boring company to burrow underground, helping the boring machines company bore across Southern California, bore. That sounds pretty exciting. This is great news because it'll give us a chance to pretend that we're in our second favorite Shia LaBeouf movie, Holes. Our first favorite is Eagle Eye. This 2003 classic where Shia LaBeouf's character Stanley Yelnats goes to juvenile detention camp to dig holes as punishment for a shoe theft he did not commit. It's the ultimate fan experience since Eagle Eye. And this program is rolling out just in time because the boring company just received permission to build a two mile long tunnel extending beyond their private property in Southern California into city proper. But how does someone even drive a big boring machine? It, it's literally s slower than Gary, their pet snail. And do, don't you have to be like a bunch of engineers to drive it? Eh, I'm sure that's just a minor detail because when you're out there boring with your sweet referral points, make sure to watch out for those yellow spotted lizards, am I right? Haha, <laughs> this guy gets it. Those are poisonous as hell. Technically venomous, not a joke. We're dying. Now moving on to some loopy news, SpaceX and the Boring Company co-hosted the Hyperloop Competition 2 Electric Boogaloop this past weekend. More than 20 teams from colleges and universities around the world gathered in Southern California to show off their Hyperloop pod designs in the competition. Now unlike the first Hyperloop competition back in January, which judged the Hyperloop prototypes in multiple areas, this Hyperloop competition squeak will judge the pod solely on speed. And Papa Musk congratulated the winning team via Twitter saying, Congratulations to War Team from Tech Univ Munich for winning second Hyperloop competition! Peak speed of 324 kilometers per hour, which is over 200 miles per hour! I added emphasis because he did. Now, War Hyperloop also dominated the last competition, but this new speed nearly quadruples the speed their Ooh. last test pod reached, which was 58 miles per hour, Boo. or some other number in kilometers, which I'm not going to calculate for you, because what am I? The entire rest of the world and scientific community? Whoa. Before we go, ugh, it's time for your Musk See moment of the week. Musk See! <laughs> How many we times have we done finally yep. have confirmation straight from daddy's luscious lips? Why do you keep making it a sex thing with it's him? It's not a sex thing. You can have luscious lips and have it not be a sex thing. <laughs> when someone on Twitter asked Musk if he is indeed a time traveler who came back to warn us about the robot uprising, he replied, 
I can't hide the truth anymore, dot dot dot. But more importantly than that, he's a time traveler that watches Rick and Morty because when asked if he watches the show, he said, quote, yeah, it's kind of disgusting, but my boys and I love it. Uh, we also love it. Ah, uh, geez, Kyle. We're his boys, confirmed. Oh, man. It has to be us, right? And if we're his boys, which we are, then it's only a matter of time before we're able to crack open a cold one with Daddy. And that's all the time we have. That was a weird out. For this episode of Musquatch. Bye! Bye. Oh. I, I, was, I was gonna have one with Dad. Thanks for watching this week's Musk Watch. Remember to like and comment below, or else. Make sure to tweet us your best musky stories at SciFile, at Dan Casey, and at Nerdist with the hashtag MuskWatch! Musk Watch. It'll kill you dead. <laughs>